And we back. What's going on guys, Dem Boys back here with another video of Authentic. Today, I thought I would compile a list of the top five Asian restaurants in Edmonton. You know, I've been to a lot of Asian restaurants here in Edmonton and I thought I'd just compile a video because uh, a lot of these places are uh, kind of not known and are kind of hidden gems. But before you get at me in the comments about your restaurants not in the, in the top five or anything like that, these are just places uh, me and my girlfriend have been to that we enjoy and we keep coming back to. It doesn't mean that your restaurant that you go to is uh, not good enough to be on this list. It's just the restaurants we frequent a lot more. So yeah, if you guys have a restaurant that you want me to check out, just comment below, let me know. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Number five, we have Chick Shack. This restaurant specializes in Northern Isan chicken and Thai food. And the only reason this is number five on my list is because I have this food readily available to me. So it's quite easy to get, so nothing really surprised me. Being from Laos, uh, that is Thailand's next door neighbor, my family was able to recreate all the dishes that they had on the menu, aside from the Isan chicken because uh, that is kind of a, a tricky one to cook. But the very good news is, is they're very loyal to the origins of, of the country. The lap, the papaya salad, and the Isan chicken all tasted like they did uh, when I tasted it in Thailand. I commend them for not changing the recipes, kind of to cater towards more the Western palate. Uh, the chicken is what you go for though. Make it juicy, but the skin is crisp. Uh, and I think uh, due to the traditional way, they're able to keep it like that. All in all, if you want authentic Isan chicken and Thai food, this is the place to go. So next, we have Tomo. Uh, so for those who are Jones in for Izakaya joints in Edmonton, because I know we are sparse in them. For those of you who don't know, Izakaya is a kind of bite-sized plates uh, that are meant to be shared and enjoyed amongst, uh, you know, kind of a whole party on an outing. Or um, it's common for places like this to exist in the alleys of Japan. It's usually for a spot for people to go after work or for, you know, just kind of a night out. Um, they have cheap beer and everything is bite-sized and shareable. I gotta say the takoyaki was the best I've had in Edmonton. I've been to a couple izakaya joints in Toronto and Vancouver. This takoyaki stacks up with the best of them. That is probably due to the local uh, chefs that have come over and to bring their cuisine over here to Edmonton. Udon carbonara was uh, another high point. It's basically a Jap Japanese pasta basically, which is two of my favorite um, kind of cuisines combined Italian and Japanese food. It's sauce just right, it's not too dry, it's not too saucy. And then we have the tompoyaki, the perfect dish to share in a staple of Izakai restaurants. You've been to Izakai restaurants before probably, if you're watching this video. You know this dish is kind of a staple if you're gonna go out uh, to these Izakai joints. It's because it is hearty and filling. So it's either sauteed beef or whatever you want in it, shrimp or whatever. And then you, ch and it's uh, basically ra wrapped in an egg omelet and topped up with uh, some kind of sauce, uh, some tangy uh, Pompeii sauce. Next, we have Nongbu. This is located on White Ave in Edmonton. It's traditional Korean food, you know the drill, but I have to say their pork bulgogi kind of was the best I've had in all the Korean places I've been to in Western Canada. Obviously, I haven't been to Korea yet, so I can't judge, but I gotta say this pork bulgogi, we had Sam style, so that's basically where you just wrap it in lettuce and they give you garlic and jalapenos and you can wrap it uh, and then eat it that way or you can just eat it straight up uh, over rice or something like that. But it is sauteed pork. They bring it out on this hot plate and vegetables, onions and stuff like that in there. But you also have to get the hot stone soup so we got the hot stone soup. So we got the daktori tang. I don't know what that is. I think it's a pork uh, bone broth. It was peppery. 
So I'm assuming that it's a more of a kind of a pepper based, um, I don't know, dish. And then you get all the side dishes like the, the banchan and everything like that. So you're bound to get uh, filled up there. At number two, we have Guikaku. Now this is a pretty well-known chain all around the world, but uh, this recently opened up in Edmonton. We were able to check it out on the first opening weeks of it. And I gotta say the service and everything was top notch for being something that's open. I've been to a couple soft openings before and openings, the service, uh, you know, they're just getting their bearings and everything like that. But this, our server was excellent. She explained everything. Yeah, it was just an awesome experience. I imagine that they've even worked out their process even more, so they've gotta be even better but it is basically just Japanese barbecue. So you have a grill in the middle uh, and then yeah, you just grill up your meats. Uh, Japan is known for having the best kind of meats out in there. So meat, barbecue goes hand in hand. Uh, but I doubt they do send Wagyu beef, but I, I do think they outsource kind of the best meats they can find in, here in Alberta. We do have pretty good meat here. I, I do think they still use um, pretty premium cuts of meat here. Uh, the cuts we got were uh, just tender. They were uh, just top notch. You can go a la carte or you can get a set menu. We went with a set menu, which worked out to be around 40 bucks per person. So it is a more expensive place. So I wouldn't go to this place every day day it's not it's kind of if you want to splurge and and, and have a, a good night out ours came with a salad a bimbap and a karage and then we got uh i think three kinds of meats and then one chicken uh poultry poultry dish um but the meats uh, again there wasn't a lot but the quality was there so quality over quantity uh is better for me i would choose that anyways but yeah the the from the sirloin to the marinade tip everything was high quality i think this was an awesome joint so check it out if you're ever in downtown emmonson at number one we have chinese hot pot buffet now this checks out all the boxes on my list. You have buffet, premium ingredients, not to mention all you can eat. Uh, that's the thing that gets me, all you can eat, right? This place doesn't look like much on the outside, but once you go inside, it's very spacious. Uh, you basically get your own pot and they have an extensive list of broths, but I always go for the free one because it is the most simplest ones and plus you're already getting your sauces and everything like that. So I, wanna, I want the ingredients to come out uh, and I don't want the kind of broth. The broth is, uh, if you get the other broths, they're not too strong, so they don't overpower the ingredients too much, but I tend to go to, for just the regular pork bone broth. You do have to order your meats, but again, it's all you can eat uh, and you just get a sheet and you check it off. But they do also have a side buffet where you get your, the homemade pork balls, homemade fish balls, all your vegetables, uh, your noodles, and everything like that, and all the all the side dishes that you would you would want with a hot pot. Um, it is pretty extensive. It's bigger than most hot pot places I've been to, so it is pretty good. So what goes hand in hand with hot pot is uh, the sauce. Uh, their sauce bar is pretty extensive, I have to say, from everything from saute to peanut sauce to spicy sauce, their own made chili sauce. Any concoction you can think of, they probably have it there. But this place, I, I gotta say, uh, me and my girlfriend, uh, we found out the, about this place, I think, uh, a little after we met. It didn't look like much from the outside. We, we, we kind of un underestimated it, but once we got inside, high ceilings, everything, the place is very spacious. And uh, yeah, this is a place we frequent all the time. Uh, so yeah, if you're ever in Edmonton, I think this is near White Ave, uh, so uh, if you want a good Chinese hot pot, I think the best hot pot in Edmonton, if not uh, Canada. So that was it guys, top five Asian restaurants in Edmonton, Alberta. 
Again, if I didn't hit your restaurants, don't be mad. Uh, it's just because I haven't been there. These are the places we frequent all the time and we keep coming back to. So that's why uh, it's on this list. Uh, but yeah, if you guys like that video, make sure to like, subscribe and share and hit that bell notification for updates. We hope. Thank you.